Here at Holland Hill Farms, we do what's called rotational grazing. And we really like rotational grazing because it gives um, our small acreage like the most bang for its buck. So what you do is you just let your animals eat a little paddock of grass and then you move them to the next paddock. And so the more small paddocks you can have like that, usually the better because it will give um, the grass that's already been grazed a chance to grow back. So when I say a small paddock, um, I'm, I mean it's pretty small because we only have three alpacas that are out here. Um, and we, we rotate them every single day. So every single day they're having access to that new fresh grass and um, the goal is to get as many paddocks as you can as possible because again that gives the grass that many days a chance to rest and to grow back. Obviously, there's no way that we could permanently fence in all of these small, probably about 20, um, you know, small paddocks. So our solution to that then is temporary fencing, which we like to use our poly wire that's on a spool, and we unroll it just like a fishing rod, like or like a fishing reel, not like a fishing rod. I, I have been fishing before, but you know. Anyway, so. Uh, you just unroll it and roll it back out. You can use step-in post instead of T-post. Um, so it's pretty cost efficient then to do it instead of like permanent fencing. Like I'm not out here trying to permanently make 20 tiny pins wearing doing that. Um, so instead this temporary fencing inside of our permanent fence works really well for us. Okay, so this is a rough picture of like an outline of how we have our pins done. These blue lines over here are all permanent. So they always need to have access to their barn and they always need to have access to their water so that we can keep from hauling water. We made this alleyway right here and these pink lines are our, um, our temporary fences. So that's like our poly wire on our spools. So every time we want to move them, we take our spools off this gate right here and reel them in, pop them out of all the step-in post and T-post, and then we move them over one, and then we line them back out. So every time, and then this one over here also moves to where these step-in posts were. Okay, so today we took down all of this temporary fencing right here we left in our step-in posts that were right here, and then we moved it over to the next T-post, and we spooled it back out like this, all right? And then after we did that, we took this temporary fence, and we just moved it over here to where these step-in posts were. And we'll do that every time we move them all the way down. And it's probably gonna be about 20 of these individual paddocks is the goal. All right. Let's stay focused here. You got to take the cup. And this when it, and this smells when it's Suzanne. Okay. Well, you go ahead and take the cup and go ahead and feed and put the food in the alpacas buckets for me. Okay. Okay. Way to do the stingray shuffle. Good job. All right. Come on, girls. choice of outfit today? Unicorns and flowers! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like it how you wore shorts underneath just in case. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And cute stars on the top. Love it. Love it.